Uh oh. Kenny's got a car stuck in her hair. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Good morning. This week, I have all the kiddos home from school. Hunk Carsey boy. Yeah. So our school district is having the kids stay home this whole week and the whole week after Christmas break just because they know they'll be seeing more people, extended family, and they want to make sure that they are not sick before they come back to school. So I've got these cuties home with me all week and this one who's already working on his homework. How are you? How are you? You're eating your cereal? I have a Google Meet in a couple minutes. Yep, you have to get on your Google Meet. You guys, Sammy, our elf, has been moving around like crazy. He got us a new Santa Tracker app. He was in the fridge all day yesterday, so that has to be cold. And now today he's chilling in that Santa Claus, huh? We filmed him moving on the camera, but we, we had to zoom in super close. Yep. And his eyes were like twinkling. His eyes are twinkling. Dad was showing us, and then it would just keep deleting, and they would go to like this Christmas thing, and then um, Sammy shut down Dad's computer and everything. <laughs> yeah. Like he's like, don't get the footage. True story. Coda filmed him while he was inside the fridge yesterday, and Cody caught him, his eyes like flickering. You know how when you try not to blink, your eyes kind of move and twitch? That's what his eyes were doing on the footage yesterday. And then the footage went corrupt and then it completely crashed Cody's whole computer when he was trying to download it yeah, into today's vlog. Yeah, Christmas like, songs would come up like, listen to this, not watch me. Yeah, truly crazy. So the boys are still trying to get some good footage of Sammy moving, but you guys, I we still, we do. I still have not conquered this. Christmas explosion. <laughs> I need to decorate, I need to clean, I need to do lots of laundry, and I need to help all of these kiddos with their homework. They have a lot of schoolwork, all three of them. So we're getting an early start on our schoolwork, and Coda actually had the idea to set up a desk in his room. So Coda got the card table out of the garage under his messy poster here, set up his desk. He's got his pencils and stuff in the pottery that. that you made, huh? Pencil sharpener, his checklist with all his assignments. You guys look. This is just the papers that he has, the physical and I have papers to he has to do this all week. This, His all reading. This, He's all got a lot this. of work to do this week, huh? Yeah. I'm proud of you guys, though. You're working hard. Yeah. Carsey boy, have we got started on your work today? Yes. Ah, yeah. I feel like every um, Wednesdays we have way more work. Yep, uh -huh. you have a lot of work, huh? Uh -huh. On Wednesdays we always have way more oh, work. Oh, I need to go in. It's good for you, though. It's helping your brains keep growing and learning. So while they are all doing their schoolwork this morning, I'm going to go through all of our Christmas bins here. And you guys, I do not use all of it every year. My style and my preferences change a lot, actually. And so I'm just going to go through, take out the things that I want to use this year, and then put everything else back down into storage so that it's not sitting here in the entryway. So I just started going through Christmas ornaments, and I thought these were the ones I was going to use, but these are actually older ones. And I totally forgot that I got new beautiful ones last Christmas. They're more of like these matte olive and matte red. And these, I don't even know what you'd call these, but they're absolutely beautiful. Our amazing subscriber, Shelly Young, bought these ornaments for us last year. So going through, putting these old ones aside and getting out all of these beautiful new ones. Christmas has exploded. But guys, we found some Santa letter papers and our mailbox. Cars has the mailbox up here. That when they put a letter, they lift this. Yeah, and so they know. And they'll write letters to Santa, and Sammy takes them, huh? Uh -huh. You could put any note. It doesn't have to be like a Christmas note. You could just like. Hey, what's up, Santa? I love you. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put the elf hat. Ladybug. Yep. So you draw it right there. Ladybug. Sir.
Hi, dude. You are, you are, you are, Hi. Hi, good morning. Hi. Hi. I love you. Hi. You are, you are. all day <laughs> the sun is just setting and I just caught a glimpse of it out the window and had to come out and film it because wow how gorgeous is that so beautiful you guys I'm so grateful for the place that we live and I'm still absolutely loving the wreaths on the windows and the door and seeing my tree with that sunset <laughs> my heart is so happy today. All right, I finally think I'm done with all the decorating I'm doing this year. I'm keeping it simple, you guys. We need simplicity this year. I know you all know what I'm talking about. The more simple, the better, and it's just what I'm feeling. So I've just got this cute little setup here on the kitchen counter. This here where we will put all of our Christmas cards, which we've already gotten a few, and this beautiful Christmas ornament we got from one of you awesome subscribers. I've got the wreaths on the kitchen chairs that we always put up keeping you guys the table centerpiece super simple these candles were also made for us by a subscriber they were made by Hyun and they smell so yummy we got so many different colors then we have the Christmas tree which you guys I'm really happy with how it turned out let me turn these on so you can see it better we've got some burlap ribbon strung throughout some fun shimmery branches up here kept it pretty simple just some red green and gold bulbs and some ribbon but that's how that turned out and then this is the shelf in our entryway. You guys, we have so many of these chat books from my Instagram. We haven't gotten any in a few years, so I need to order more. But I love the cover on this one of Dakota is a little baby in front of our Christmas tree. This, you guys, if you don't know this story, you need to go watch this video where we talk about this. One year, we just didn't have any money to afford a Christmas tree. And I really wanted to have a tree for Coda and Carson, so I went out in our yard and I picked a bunch of branches. Let's see if you can see them here. I picked a bunch of branches, put them in a vase, and then hung Christmas ornaments on it. But one night Cody came home and he had bought a used Christmas tree from an online yard sale for I think like $10. And that's the Christmas tree that we put up there. So <laughs> you can see the makeshift tree we had and then the tree that he bought for us that year. So you guys, those pictures are so special to me. So I made sure to have the Christmas ones here on top so that we can see them and view them and they are just so near and dear to my heart. But I have these cute little Christmas trees, some bells that were my mom's. You guys, I grew up with those in my house as a kid. These were my grandma Bonnie, so they are the kids' great grandmas that I have strung all over the house. Cohen Santa sack, I just have stuffed with stuffed animals. And then of course, our beautiful nativity. I just put a simple red pillow here on the bench and then I'm going to add red noses to all of these pictures of the kids like we did last year. The mantle is so simple this year, you guys. We have our stockings and then more of these wood beaded garlands from my grandma. And then we just have our little basket of all of our Christmas books. I'm not gonna wrap them this year. We usually will unwrap a present every day of December until Christmas or unwrap a book. But I didn't want to waste the wrapping paper this year and I just wanted them to be open so that we could read whatever book we wanted throughout the whole month. So Christmas books there. We kept it really simple. 
I've got just a few little simple things here in the bathroom. Nothing crazy, you guys. I wanted it simple and I love how it turned out, but now we have all of the Christmas bins to go put back in storage that I've taken everything that I wanted out of it. But yeah, guys, that's it. Oh, and then just one last thing. We have our, ignore the sink full of dishes that I haven't gotten to yet. We have our Christmas countdown that was also mine as a kid, full of Christmas cards from years past. I wanna make a book out of all of those. Um, because they're so fun and special to me. So that's all of it guys. But as I'm finishing up here, someone has come over to our house who I've never met before. <laughs> What's your name, sir? My name is Jude. Is he such a dork? He did. You don't see the skillful moves? <laughs> oh. Has anyone seen my missing Ferrari? It's orange. And very big. <sighs> well, rusty too had it since I was two years old. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, you guys. Come at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, well, Cokes, I love you. See you yes. See ya. made it home and we are having some mac and cheese for dinner with chili in it for the older peeps that are more acquired taste but I think we're all a little sick of turkey and mashed potatoes huh <laughs> as much as we love it I mean you can only eat that for so long huh babe oh yeah I was no. like we still have so much but I don't think I can eat it again today <laughs> no. we need to eat we need to eat Christmas stuff uh oh Kenny's got a car stuck in her hair. It was turned on so the wheels were like spinning and she touched her head and it whoop. I got yeah. a lot of it out but this piece is just not coming. Dang it. What if you just got it? Yeah, we've been picking at this for probably 10 minutes now. At least. You okay? It's okay, sister. We just gotta be careful not to put spinning things by our hair, okay? <laughs> So I, don't have to I think do I might it. have to cut it. I'm just trying to see. <laughs> it stinks too because the hair that she cut on her own just finally started growing back. These little guys right here. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's back like a few inches. A little bit. Yeah, I guess. Um, it's it's back. Back. Yeah, there's the hair that she cut. <laughs> when I had the white blue scissors. In my room, and I was standing on that white thing down, looking in the mirror. This time, I have. You did. Oh, yeah, we don't. We don't that. cut. We don't cut our own hair, though, huh? Yeah, we don't do that. What in the world? Oh, did it get? Or is it coming back down? No, I think this is like. What is happening? This is making is it, Did it go up and then back? Like, is it twisted? I, I hope so. I hope that it's not. I got the pause. Okay, I got the nipple. Hang on, cut as close to the wheel as I can. No bite. No. Oh. No bite. I hate cutting my pretty hair. Got a wrinkled, wrinkled hair. Wrinkled, huh? Wrinkly hair. Or tangled. Tangled, that's the word. <laughs> you got wrinkles in your hair? You're getting old hair? <laughs> There we go. It doesn't look too bad. Let mommy see. Yes, we got the car out, but let me see your hair. Oh no, you're bald, Ken. No, I still have hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we broke the car. Oh, hang on. There's still a lot of hair in that wheel. <laughs> we broke it. Oh man. There's still hair in it. Okay. No more getting your hair cut in cars. <laughs> 
Dang it, it this is out. out. Dang it, huh? My pretty hair. Your pretty hair. It's literally, I don't Dang know it how it's stuck in here. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. Kenzie did amazing decorating the house. I mean, everything looks amazing. She's so good. I just wish I could have helped her a little bit, you know? It's always fun decorating a Christmas tree. But we love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.